just want to talk to you today about using Teams to do live public events. One thing you may or may not be aware of is that you can't use Teams with a public live event and use third-party software to input the video. It's a limitation that Microsoft's imposed. You can't select a third-party video source like you can for an internal event or an event where people inside your organization are the only ones joining the meeting. There's ways around that, though. Uh, one way you might use is to purchase an external HDMI input device that allows you to take video and audio from another system and input it into a computer to be encoded into the live stream. That is a, a product solution that we've used a few times with success, but we've also found another way to get around that. What we're doing today is we're using a product called NDI, and NDI is actually a standard created by a company called NewTek that allows you to take video and transmit it over the network along with the audio from a camera or another source into another device. So what we're doing here today is we're using an iPhone running a small piece of software called NDIHX that allows us to use the iPhone as a camera and mic. And then we're taking that into a product called vMix on the PC side to capture and switch between live video sources. You can also use other products such as the TriCaster um, also made by NewTek, the company that created the standard, as a video input source. TriCaster is a great production box if you ever need one. Uh, but today we're going to use the vMix software, which works great in a pinch. And uh, if it works on just commodity hardware. So if you're not really taking a lot of input sources in, you can get away with using that and some common hardware to do video switching and production. So vMix is now outputting our video as an NDI source. And we're using a product that NewTek makes. Uh, it's actually an NDI tools bundle that they make that you can download and install for free on your PC. It allows you to use NDI as a video input and audio input source that appears inside of Teams as a webcam and a line in device. So let's turn over to Teams for a minute. Let me show you how that looks and how this particular um, setup works. So here we are inside Teams. We're going to start a new meeting. Uh, you'll see I'm the producer. I'm going to go ahead and hit next and call this test. We're going to set this as a public event. I'm going to turn off recording being available to attendees. You notice this is grayed out here. I'm going to turn off um, all these other features. There's nothing wrong with them though. We're going to schedule this. So let's go ahead and join up on our meeting. And right here, we're gonna come in and we're gonna change our video and audio sources to NDI audio and NDI video. Now vMix doesn't need to be running on the same machine as Teams and there's a lot of situations that may be beneficial to do so. You may want to have a, a machine that's running the, the VIX mixing software another machine that's doing the encoding so that you can switch um, between sources or, or content or whatever the case might be. Maybe your machines aren't powerful enough to run both at once. So here we can now see my video stream coming in and we are sending it from vMix in the background to Teams in the foreground there via NDI both for the video and the audio. So vMix now will allow us to switch between sources, bring in guests, whatever else you may want to do. I hope you enjoyed the video today. 